Boys and girls, welcome back to another Fallout video. The Santa, the Christmas morons are back, so you know what that means. You know what it means? We're on the Collectron. So I'm going to show you how to farm it properly, how to farm it nice and good. So first thing you're going to do is get a San Santatron Collectron. It's in the Atomic Shop. I think it's free. I'm not sure. I got mine ages ago. Second thing you're going to need is a half-decent weapon that can kill Scorch pretty quick. Third thing you're going to need is a fair amount of resources because this is resource heavy. By resource heavy, I mean you're going to be building. So I'll show you how to do the first one, which we're just going to go over there to do. <clears throat> and this does work. You can leave them. You can go AFK. You can run the routes. But you can't change servers. That is the one thing. You'll be stuck to one server. So whether you're doing it in private like I am, or whether you're doing it in a public server, you will, you will be stuck to one server. Now, if you do it in a public, there's always a chance of someone, you know, taking it from you. There's always that chance of someone coming in, PvP in, uh, killing you, absolutely annihilating you. And all that good jazz. But what we'll do is take over the claim or we'll claim the workshop. And as I have a prefab build for this. So if you don't have the prefab build, you can make one at your camp and then just save it as a blueprint. I'm, I'm not gonna go into that, but yeah. That is the one way to do it. Come on. I'm gonna build lot of blueprints. Build that. Christ. Uh, the reason I have the building is for why is my stamina not regening? No idea. Oh, I haven't got my tea, that's why. Stamina work regen. I'm not on our team. I was hoping to be done and out before that popped up, but whatever. So, the only what I'm going to put in here is the blueprint for this, which is. Come on. Wiggle in. Wiggle in. Come on. There we go. And then... A Santatron. And because I'm on a private server, nobody's going to bother. And that's all I need. No one's going to come and take it from me. And I'm going to do that with a fair few other things as well. I'm just going to dip out of here before this starts up. Doesn't matter if the enemies take over it. They shouldn't destroy this. Hopefully, they shouldn't, but I'm going to pop over onto the next one, which is Tyler Counter, which I'm going to go for. So once I've finished my setup, I'll bring you back, and then I'll show you what I've done. Aha, welcome back. All right, I've done my setup, which is just one there, one there, one there, one there, one there. I've done five altogether. You can do more. It's completely up to you, however many you do. But the one thing that you have to remember... Yeah, I've just finished, so you need this... Which is the Santa Tronk Electron, which is in the Atomic Shop, and I think it's free. Don't quote me on it, but I'm pretty sure it's free. If it'll pop up. Uh, where will it be? Camp. Yeah. Utility. That's the one. Oh. And it is... There. Santa Tron Station. Um... During the Holiday Scotched events, what happens is it will collect holiday gifts like that and other random bits of nonsense. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a farming route and leave them to work their magic because they will all run. They'll all collect so it doesn't matter as long as I stay on this server 
those will always be mine and considering I'm on a private server nobody's going to take them over so we're going to start off small oh small ish we're going to start off with the farming route so we're going to start Tyler County Fairs Fairgrounds and we're going to work from there okay Tyler County Fairgrounds what we're going to do is going to be running around and we're going to be listening all that you hear it the jingly bells Ignore me you're getting stabbed. Listen. The jingly bells, and they always have a legendary and a holiday gift. Whether it's small, medium, or exceptional, or exemplary, or whatever it is. Get fucked. Alright. So there's. We've had one so far here. off okay now I have a weapon that does absolute slappage damage to everything because it's an anti-armor weapon but I also brought this which is a slug buster just in case they change things and made them a lot harder but this one has a prime receiver on if you have a prime receiver on your weapon it will do a lot more damage to scorched okay so we only got one at Tyler County Fairgrounds okay on to the next spot which is going to be up here, which is Wavy Willard's Water Park. Onwards to glory. Now, they never really seem to spawn inside there. They're always round here getting the shit kicked in. Yep, see? They're always round here getting the shit kicked in by the raider. It spawns round here. Back on it. Yes, yeah, so that's one so far. We have a little 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 loads. There's sometimes one up here. Not always. Sometimes. Like I say. Don't forget to check the background here. But you're listening out for those jingly bells. Don't forget, you're going to have to jump down in the hole. Down here. Ah, twat. Check for a bobblehead, thank you. Check up here, nothing. Go around here. Keep your ear out for the bells if you want to help yourself a little bit more. Go to settings, go to audio, go to turn music off, turn effects up. So if you turn music off completely and then turn effects up completely, you'll be able to hear them a lot better. Turd. Yes, yeah, so that's where we came, went in from. That's where we've come down from. It's off. Leave me alone. I'm doing you a favour. Yeah, be careful because sometimes they'll fall in here because they're stupid and they'll get stuck. Make your way around. Ow. Dick hole. See, I don't mind these events popping up so long as they haven't actually destroyed any mass structures. And I don't think they will have done. Because I'm out of the render zone, so they shouldn't be able to... Well, they shouldn't. They technically shouldn't destroy anything because there's no one nearby. So they'll just be like in stasis until I get there, if you know what I mean. Because that's what happens, uh, everything goes like into semi-sort of stasis when you're not around. And then when you when you load in, 
like that's when they like sort of start moving. And then if you're say if another player's already there and then you load in, it'll sometimes refresh the spawns. So say if you spawn into a location, it's got a turret there, you've destroyed the turret, someone else spawns in, it'll probably repair that turret and it'll come back. So that's how spawning and shit works in this and it's a bit I'd say it's complicated, but it's really not. Okay, next spot to check. Blackbeard Hunting Lodge. I throw this one into the mix because the Scorch spawn there, and it's on the way to where we're going to next, which is the Palace of the Winding Path. It's not a guaranteed 100%, or you're going to get at least one. But a small chance is better than no chance. Right here, one, so. Yep, we didn't get one this time. Okay, Palace of the Winding Path. Okay, Palace of the Winding Path. You can get a potential of up to four here. One may spawn in either one of the wings. One will spawn in the main entranceway. And one will spawn in the back room. Potentially. If you keep your ears out, you can probably hear them before you even get there. Else, there's a mole rat. See how many times I've done this because I know that the mole rat's going to pop up at somewhere and bite me in the ass. There you go. See, I was white. Morning. Come on, we're in a need for this animosity. Yeah, check through. Not this door yet. Not this door yet. Go across. So when you come down the stairs, check this door. It's going to lead you into like a uh, dining area. There's one, one in there. Uh, you can check down here because I don't think anything woke up. No, they didn't. Like I say, check down there if you want to, but there's less chance of them popping up down there. Okay, there's a chance of one spawning up in here. Apparently not. There's down here. In here. Ow! Dick hole. Alright. Alright. So the, we only got, what, one? We got one from here. It's not bad. Okay. The next spot. Yeah, we can do the sunny top ski lane. Scotch spawn there. Alright, we'll check this one out first. I lied, it was Super Mutants, I forgot. It's the other mountain top that's it. So, Thunder Mountain. <laughs> My apologies. My bad. Alright, so Thunder Mountain is next. This is a massive area, it's Thunder Mountain. Now, you don't want to go into inside instances because they won't spawn in there. They'll only spawn on exterior instances, such as this one. If... Wherever you walk into, if there's a cutscene, they won't spawn there. So when you walk into a building and there's like a loading screen. Ow! They won't spawn in there. But. If you're going into a building, so like an, in Helvetia. Perfect example, if you go to Helvetia, they will spawn in the buildings there because they are... Externals and let's see. Yeah, Scotch leader, Scotch annihilators. Not even gonna bother. Oh yeah. Scorch Conqueror. 
you know it's a holiday scorch because it'll say holiday scorch. So if you just want to run through, listen for the jingle bells. Get them that way. You can. I don't think there's going to be any in here. Then again, I didn't check over here. Ah, oh, my ankles. Right. Yeah, no. Okay, on to the next spot. Which for me... Yeah, I'm closing in on me. <laughs> it's Camp Venture. Now, you can go through the fisher sites as well. So we'll go through the fisher sites as well. And I'll show you that they can spawn in there as well. But I'm just going to do like the main spots. Like the good spots where you're more likely to get one. Okay, they're not spawning down at the bottom. They usually spawn up top. Hi! Is there any Jingle Jangle Bastards? There's one! Oh, we got two! Nice. Oh, we got three! Thank you! Lovely! Oh, we've got Lucky on this one. I never get three here. Okay. See, this next one's tricky across. I'm debating whether to include it or not. Which is m most town. You know what? Yeah, it's, pretty, it's a pretty good shot, so most town. So, rule of thumb is if there's a lot of scorched, there's a small guarantee that there's going to be one there. One's going to spawn in. As you can hear. Small holiday gift. Lovely. There's another one. Where are you? Oh, and another one. Damn, we're getting lucky. Now this is where the problem kicks in, and this is why I don't want to show you Moss Town. Because there is a Fisher site immediately next to it. Which is convenient and handy. But also a massive pain in the ass because you have to deal with the Scots Beast. Oh, there we go. See, fisher sights. They do spawn them. Where'd you go, you flappy little fuck face? Ah, oh, there's another one. See, this is the best bit about this one. About the holiday scorched instead of the treasure hunters. Is because they will run to you. You do not have to go to them. I don't know where bodies were. I'm over encumbered as well, which is bad. Over encumbrance is not good. There we go. Where did the other scouts? There is. Okay. I need to get rid of shit. Uh, quick time. So I'll bring you back when we're on to the next one. Okay, we're into the centralised zone of the map now, if you will. I, I'm just going to completely skip the south. Yes, there was a lot of good ones down there. But the concentration of them are up here. So, 
like Pleasant Valley Cabins, All This Place, Bolton Greens, Greg's Mining Supply, Helvetia. Like, there's a lot concentrated up in the centre of the map. There's also a lot concentrated in the southeast of the map, but don't worry about that one too much. Okay. <clears throat> Check up over here. I'm gonna have to take a right away dialogue because I'm gonna die in a minute. This is a case of a non-enclosed instance where you can open the door and there isn't like a loading screen. This is one of them cases. I'm glad I got to show you it. Alright, I need it right away. Oh! There's not one in there. Check the big house. Here in one. Doesn't mean there isn't one. Yeah. Get back up here real quick. Jingle jingles. No jingle jingles. Okie dokie. Alright. Yeah, run down here. There could be some up in the tower. There is one up in the tower. Friend. Hi friend. Ooh. I've never seen a vampire's broadsider before. That's a new one. Over here. Risen. Ah. Try not to die. Have to reset all my adrenaline. Can't be asked. Even though it's not hard because I'm already killing them. Alright. Open it up. Why don't you all lot jingle jangling? You don't have to take the can chimes, I'm just taking them. <laughs> Alright. Uh, that's going to be it for this place, which is here on the map. So we started up here, worked his way down, we come down here, and we're like, we're near the train station now. Now, Okay, next one is... A possible goodie? Then again, it's a hit and miss is this one. It doesn't always... Uh... It sometimes does. So, White Springs Golf Resort. It always spawns a uh, treasure hunters. It's not guaranteed to spawn the scorch. I've had it spawn like once or twice, but it might have been a glitch because. Well, when I say once or twice, I mean like once or twice. <laughs> Like, it's a very rare occurrence. Dick. Alright, so, non-spawn there. Next spot. We're gonna go to... You can hear them all. <laughs> Next spot we're gonna go to is Bolton Greens. Now, I'm not doing this in any particular order. You can do them in whatever order you like. It's up to you. I'm just doing them in, in the order that I need to. And then we'll go check all the fisher sites after this. And then we'll go check on his production and see how they've done. 
and then I'll show you an event where it spawns as well. This is going to be a bit of a long video. I apologise. I will make it as short as humanly possible. Okay, Bolton Greens is also a good one because I will show, for those that like, you know, you have jobs, I understand. I'll show you all like a glitchy way of doing it as well so you can get the most out of it. In the building, we heard some. Downstairs, upstairs, downstairs. And upstairs. Sure, I heard one upstairs. Check the rooms because the jingling can not start until you you're like within closer proximity to it. So there is a room here and there'll be three of them in. Three scorched in. It won't replace the three scorched, it'll add. So whenever you go into a place you need to remember it's not replacing the scorched, it's adding to it. So there will be more enemies in a spot. Okay. Let's check. And if you're on a public server and you're doing this route, if you look here, the people that have done it before, they'll like kill things that are here and then they'll either forget to pick it up or they'll leave it and then they'll disappear. So when you kill these two, you come here, you might find like a gift on the ground or a weapon on the ground or something. And that's just because the previous person's forgotten to picking it up. So feel free, have at it. It's yours now. Enjoy yourselves. But yeah, sometimes people forget, sometimes people miss stuff, it happens. Also, there's a, a wandering spawn here, if you don't know what a wandering spawn is. I know I'm throwing a lot of information at you at once, but please bear with me. A wandering spawn is like a group of super mutants walking through, or a bunch of robots walking through, or a bunch of ghouls walking through, or a bunch of scorch walking through. But yeah, so we're gonna see we came out of the house there, we're gonna make it make this way around here, down here, past these. And we're gonna head towards the pylon there. <coughs> and I promise I'm trying to make this as short as possible. Okay, there's one, two. And then there is super mutants. Should be some more somewhere. No, you're around here. Chase Hells. So yeah, that was Bolton Greens. We got a couple out there. That was good. That was a very good one. Okay, next is Greg's Mining Supply. You can fast travel or you can run just for time's sake. I'm going to fast travel. Okay, Greg's Mining Supply. It can be outside, it can spawn inside because it's another instance of a non-loading screen spawn. Where did your bits go? Yeah, so just have a look down here as well because I can like wander off down here. Kind of stupid. See what I mean? They're pretty dumb. Check the back room here. There's nothing upstairs except uh, ghouls and a couple of rad roaches. So, oh, and that idiot that ran up. But other than that, there's nobody upstairs. There's nothing upstairs. There was another one somewhere in there, but I'm not going to look for him. It wasn't a jingle jangle, so I'm not interested. Okay. Next spot is Helvetia, and this spot is a popular one, so don't be surprised to not find anything there at all. Okay, Helvetia, you all know it from the Fashion Night event. Probably sick of seeing this place. Sick of AFK in it, you're sick, <laughs> sick of looking at it. But don't worry, you're just having a quick pass through in this building. 
Jesus. Stairs. So they can be in any of these buildings. I, it does not matter to them. They will be in any and every building. Let's drop these so I'm not over encumbered. Sorry about this. I did drain my shit. There's another one there. You can see he's in his blue suit and he's got his super sledge and a berserker's crook. Yeah. If you listen, you can usually hear the bells. The bells! I can't hear anything. So, if you're downstairs, you can usually hear them upstairs. So, you don't have to go check upstairs. If you don't hear anything, don't bother. Don't waste your time. I'm just doing it to show you that there's nothing there. You want to check every building. And I mean every building. Okay, checking this. Checking this, can't hear anything. Moving on. We've already cleared that building when we came in. There was one already there. Okay, across the bridge. Check in here. See? Check your buildings. Check all your buildings. Yeah, I know I'm going a little bit too fast, but I'm trying to make this not like four hours long. I know one or two people could watch four hours long videos, but uh, not everybody appreciates it. Okay, your best spot of finding them, if you don't find any in the buildings, is up here in the main road or in the church there. There's also this building here, but I very rarely find any in this building, so... Check the road, check the church. There's a scorch upstairs. Not bothering with it. In here. Yeah. Got a good couple from that one. Oh, On to the next spot. Damn. <laughs> okay, next spot is Sutton. Sutton's a good one. There's a lot of Scots there. DPN, because we're, we're nearly over with the run in itself. And then I'll show you. I already showed you that the fisher sites spawn them. But I'll, I'll show you again with a different fisher site. I'll show you with the main fish, the fisher site prime. Okay, so Sutton, we're going to come in here. Church first. Clear the church first. I can hear one. He's over here. This is why jetpack. Dick. You get a lot of legendaries for doing this as well. Which, if you like legendaries, you're good. If you're not so keen, they get over encumbered very quickly, like I do. It's not all that good. Yes, you can leave the legendaries. Yes, you can leave the weapons. I'm just grabbing everything. Because I'm a loot goblin. Alright. You're dead. Yeah, you're dead. Yeah, I can't seem to hear anymore. Check over here. Oh, nothing. Alright, let's put some stuff away. Have a look at what we've got in a minute. But, we're going to turn next one. No, we are not. Thank you. 
Now we're going on to his next one. <laughs> okay, we're going to make a stop at Mount Train, uh, Morgantown Train Yard. Reason being, you can get rid of the legendaries you've already picked up, so you're not as over encumbered. Sell whatever weapons you've already picked up, so you get a few caps back from all your fast travelling shenanigans. Plus, we're going to go on to the train station. So... You know... All that good stuff. Yeah, get rid of stuff. Bye, goodbye, goodbye. Right, everything that's left is legendary. Da, 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 da. And done. That's that's me nearly script out already. I'm I'm not even finished. Like this is just like the first run of it. Yeah. Run through Morgantown. There's no point going inside, like I said, because it's a uh, it's blocked by a loading screen. And that is just no bueno. It's not very good. Okay, it looks like we haven't got anything from Morgantown Airport. Which is sad. But it's okay, because we have a second opportunity at Morgantown Airport. Now, while you're here... What you can do is run all the way over here. Probably get shot in the face because I missed one. Run back here and do this event. Now you saw me, I put everything away, I put all the gifts away. So everything has gone away. I just crashed my game. Okay, it kicked me, so I no longer control any of the things, all because of that stupid thing. Where was it? It's gone now. But that thing that crashed me... Jesus Christ. Alright. So, I can't... I can't show you the things, because they've just wiped... It's just been wiped. It's just all been wiped. All that worked for now, eh? It's all them things that I've taken over, they've just gone. So I can't show you that way, but it does work. Please have faith, I will put a video out showing you that it does work. Possibly tomorrow, if I can. But yeah, it crashed my game, so I lost control of the workshops unless my stuff might still be there. Might be. Anyway, while you're here at uh, Morgantown Airport, you're going to do this event, and this event will bring a lot of them in. So, if you look, I haven't got no holiday gifts, and yes, they do come under aid. I don't know why, but they do. So, I'll bring you back when this event's over. Okay, event over. The thing, and I've ended up with one large holiday gift. The thing you want to remember with this event is, the more people there is, the better it is. Because more will spawn. Like, a lot more will spawn. You don't have to wait for the cargo to drop. Do I? Yeah, I need the caps. But anyway, yeah. If, I'll check it now, but if my stuff's still there, I might be able to claim stuff from it still. If not, then I'll do it in a separate video, but that sucks. But yeah, you can, you can farm them that way as well. Take over workshops, put a Collectron Santatron on, but put it up high. If you put it up high, then they won't attack it directly. They'll go for like the foundations or something and it'd be absolutely fucking useless to them. But yeah, it, it sucks that my game crashed. It sucks that I saw something in my inventory under aid. And yes, I will believe in that in the video. So if anybody from Bethesda's watching, they can fix their shit. But yeah, stuff happens. 
So once I've done this, I'll go check, see if they've spawned, if they're still there, if the items are still there. If not, then is what it is. What can you do? I can't go around and redo it all. I could, but then I'd have to wait like another hour or something, and then this video will be what? far too long. It's already far too long. It's 40 minutes now. So... Yep. Uh... Okay, so, oh wait, we've come from the trip, the Morgantown airport, we've done that event, we got one from there, we've come down to Morgantown, come down to Morgantown train yard, but, there's also something else, so you come over to the left here, Just took a shot to the face, how? They can spawn around here, they can spawn up there in that tower. Which it doesn't look like they have. Looks like it's just... A plain old scorched. So from here, you see the ring on the map, that's a port side pub, I'm going to go there, and then we're going to call it off for this one, I am extremely angry that my game crashed, all because of a information glitch on a stim pack, that's what it was, it was an information glitch on a stim pack, oh there's one here. There's two. Nice. So, come here, port side pub. This is a long route, it is a long route. It's gonna be a long video. I apologize, I wasted my time doing the setup for that other, other bit, possibly. But, uh, what can you do? Okay, so, like the cultists, they will spawn in here. They will spawn in Morgantown. Best thing is for you to run the monorail key, right out, key, it is out. Sort of spawn on the edge of town towards the centre. So now we're on the edge of town. Keep an eye on that bridge, they can spawn up there. They can spawn there. Morgantown is always worth a check when it comes to events like this. The holiday scorch, the spooky scorch, the treasure hunters. All that stuff, they all spawn here. Uh, the cultists, they spawn here. They can spawn down there. They spawn up here. And the reason is that the, the Scorch could spawn here and not like other places is because there is a Scorched area here. And it's a school. So if you look there, Scorched have overrun that school. So that's why they can spawn anywhere within this town, which is ridiculous. But yeah, it's funny. Plus, account has their own, like, sort of entity thing. So obviously they're going to be able to spawn wherever they want. Can't hear any. So. Come on. It's not good.
Gone. Have you gone? Stop bullying me. Ah! Oh, come on. <laughs> but yeah, that's the that's the farming route. I'm gonna check up here at Hemlock, see if um my stuff's still there. If not, is what it is. If it is, I'll check the rest of them and then we'll get a count up as to how many I've got. <gasps> we have a glimmer of hope. Collectron! Don't worry, I'm here. Oh, we got. Let me put out what I've got away. Okay, so they are here, so I can check them. I'll do. Me tea. Okay, so holiday gift, small holiday gift. That's it for that one. Alright, I'll go cash all these up and then we'll have a count back at base. Um, okay. I just spawned into Scorched. I just spawned into a spooky Scorched. Well, that's interesting. Thank you. Yeah, so it looks like they're all here, so I'll be able to pick up all the stuff from it. Which is good. Okay, again, I'll bring you back when we're back at base, unless another spooky spot pops up. Okay, we've got Scorched here as well. I don't know if there's a holiday one, but... Oh, just regular old Scorched. <laughs> okay then. Why are they all scorched? I'm not complaining. So that's four. Four spoopy scorched just here. At this spot. Like... All right, they shouldn't be there. Yeah. Nice. All right. On top, last one. Woo. Okay. No. Welcome home. This one's been running the longest, and we don't seem to have had as much better as the rest of them. But bear in mind, I've put. Every single one I've gotten from farming, farming in my stash. So whatever we've got on me now is what we've just got from the AFK, AFK spots. So we've got seven holiday, five large, and 17 small. Oh wait, minus four small and a large. So hang on. What's it? One large from there, and then five small. One, two, four, five. So this is what we got from the AFK. We got twelve small, five large, and six normal holiday gifts. That's just that's just from these weapons. That's just from these 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 collectrons. That's it. Taking over workshops, putting them in and you get it passively it's better if you have fallout first if you don't you can do it on like i say a normal server but you run the risk of having other players coming in taking over your camp taking your stuffs all that jazz so all together including what we got from farming we've got 17 normal holiday gifts 12 large holiday gifts and 23 small holiday gifts. 
and it's been 50 minutes from start to finish of me setting up it's been 50 minutes to an hour maybe possibly yeah call it an hour it's been an hour from me starting to me now just on one server i've got this many and the best thing is when you finish that farm route you go around, you collect all your Santron, your Collectrons and that lot. And then by, by the time you've finished collecting from all your Collectrons, don't collect them from them at first while you're farming. Farm first, then do your Collector out. Go pick everything up. And then, start your route again. And by the time you've finished collecting from your Collectrons, and you've gone back to your beginning of your farming route, which will be... Either Wavy, Wavy Willards or Tyler County. When once you've started from there, it'll all it'll have all reset. So if you are sticking on one server, you're good. It'll have all reset by the time you've finished doing your actual farming route, and you've gone to collect everything from your collectrons. So yeah, I got I've got a lot now, and I've been at it an hour. And I haven't bought any. I, I, I can't afford to buy any. <laughs> I can't afford to buy any paper or all, so I ain't got no, I ain't got not from there. So, all right, time to show those that work for a living, those that have a job and don't have time to grind for hours and hours and hours on end, a little cheaty way to do it. Because you know, I have to give you an easy way, don't we? Okay, for those of you that work for a living and do an actual job, uh, this one's for you, or for those that you that have, you know, school and stuffs. We're here at Bolton Greens because it's the one where you're more likely to get a f more than one, as you can see. So we're gonna run through on as normal route as we would. I'm like Iron Man with autism. Alright, I'm over encumbered. Again. Check the room. All this shit. It's good. Get my company T rocking. Get you out of it. Hello. So we've got, we've already got a couple just from this spot. There's a scorched. There's another scorched. Just to wonder it. I'm not taking my own advice. So just check. Just check. There's no harm in checking. Look, there you go. There's a legendary there. There's a bone hammer there. <laughs> See? People forget. People forget. And that sort of stuff happens. You end up getting a legendary, and the same happens up here. All the time, it happens all the time. Not all the time, but more often than you think. Okay. More than likely not, the place that you're going to find it here is where that dude spawned in, so... Again, just keep an eye out when you're walking through. You might pick some extra up. You might actually pick an, an another gift up. You never know. Yeah. I thought they spawned in as extras, but apparently they do not. They are spawning in as instead ofs, which is not how they used to spawn in. But you just look at all the. Machetes and stuff that you get. I'm not bothered. I just dropped a legendary. I have too much crap. But the day legendary scrapping comes out, the better. The sooner the better. <laughs> as far as I'm concerned. So we've had three so far from this place. We get to spawn in. 
Oh, the Scots spawning in. This is just like you're wandering hard. You remember last time it was Super Mutants, this time it's Scorched. Good. Okay. So, let me just clear up and then I'll bring you back. Okay, I'll clear my inventory about out a little bit. I should be alright now. So, what we're going to do now is relog into a different server. This is a cheaty way of doing it. If you want to do it this way, you can. Like... If you want to actually play the game, like, say like it's during week, you've just got on from work, you've got an hour, but you want to farm this, you don't have time to be running around, fast travelling here, there and everywhere. You just want to do it quick. This is a quick way of doing it. I don't advise you to do it, I'm just showing you to do it, because some people like doing stuff like this. There's another Scorched Horde. This is, it's scripted. Right, and then we're just going to run back through Bolton Greens, and we're going to try and get as many Christmas bitches as we can. Santa's little helpers, they're going to get slapped. So back up here. There's none there. Check that spot. Again, check for legendaries left behind. Some people do leave them. They don't do it on purpose. It's just accident. Either they drop them or they don't want them. Come up through here. Again, check your floor. Will be a legendary or an actual gift. Sometimes there's a gift on the floor. Again with the inside as well, just check the floor. Alright, people could have already been through it. You open the roof, I eat a little prick. You upstairs. I hope you're upset, you're up on the roof. You dick. Is actually up on the roof. What an asshole! Okay, yeah, it's up here. Now, if you only have chameleon, you best off coming up from this end, and then up here. Where are you, dickhead? And there we go. I'll show you one more time just so you know it's not a fluke. I'll pop out. Log out. I might as well make this video an hour long. <laughs> I know it's been a long one. I appreciate your time. I'd appreciate it if you found it helpful to hit the subscribe button and the like button. The subscribe more than the like. Well, the like button too. It shows me that you like this sort of stuff and it's appreciated. But I want to get this out. Same day as the Scorched are coming out. The holiday Scorched. And this works for the Halloween ones as well. I, Well, the, the route does. The uh, passive farming does not. You actually have to go hunt the Halloween Scorched. They uh, kind of suck dick. Yeah. People's been through here. Yeah. Alright. People rinse this place. Ow. Jesus. Yeah. There is the odd chance where you're not going to get anything. But like I say, it's just a, a quick little cheaty cheesy route to do it. 
I'm not saying you have to do it, I'm just showing you it. And yes, it works with any of the Scorch spots I've shown you today. All you have to do is log out, log into a new server, and then there you go. Bosh, bash, bosh. Done. Yeah, check. No, nah, there it now. Up here. Meh. Again, nothing. So, it is hit and miss. You are going to get some. But I've, as you've seen, we've had like... Well, I'll have a quick count in a minute, but we've had a fair few just, just doing this on its own. So, if I look at aid. Got what? Three normal. One small. That's four. And we've changed server. This is the third server that we're on. And we've got four already. And aside from me chuntering on, it's taken, what, ten minutes? If that. So yeah, that'll do it for today. Ladies and gentle folks, thank you all for watching. If you did find this useful, please leave a like, please subscribe. Do all that, share it about. Pass it around like a cheap hooker. Share it to your friends. Share it to your family. Share it to your grandma. I don't care. Just share it about. Get it spread about if you found it useful. And I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you all for watching, you absolute wonderful jelly beans. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.